welcome to the Martyr's Shrine in Midland, Ontario. Neat the religious significance on the 12th stage of the cross. You have Christ crucified, and right below it, you have a scene of the Last Supper, which makes a pretty clear theological statement that in the Lord's Supper, you have the true presence of Christ's body and blood in the bread and the wine, at the same time, seeing the crucifixion, experiencing the crucifixion. It's really neat religious art how often beliefs are depicted in ways that we don't even really realize. This is the gravesite of an Eastern Roman Catholic bishop, the Ukrainian Catholic. <laughs>
How did you find your day going to the Martyr Shrine? So... <laughs> <laughs> so we, so we just, um, I'm off, blah. <laughs> we... Fill it up. Fill it up. Don't put that in your YouTube video. Um... So we're on our way home from the Martyr Shrine. It was uh, quite an experience. We um, just kind of walked around the property and what did we do? We walked around the property and uh, the Stations of the Cross, uh, which I'll obviously have had video of. Um, we went out for a bite to eat and then came back. I did a very awe-inspiring uh, reconciliation um, and then we celebrated Mass. We got blessed, which we... Um, I had to actually Google what had happened after Mass because he had something in his hand and we um, got invited to go up for a blessing after the Mass had ended. And so uh, we went up and they had a relic there that both Adam and I had uh, had a blessing with, which was kind of nice. And then this is kind of what happened. And then now we're on our way home. But it was definitely a place that like to go to and to pray and What's the word I'm looking for? Self-growth. Like it's for, um, it's a spiritual pilgrimage. It's a spiritual pilgrimage. <laughs> um, and it definitely, definitely was that. It's on a huge uh, property, so when we walked it, it did take us a little bit to walk around. Um, but yeah, it was def it's definitely a worthwhile pilgrimage. Um, the only questions I think that I am like, leaving with is we so uh, Catholics are in the year of mercy um, and I know at the martyr shrine here in Midlands they have what's called um, it's a holy door right door of mercy uh, for, for the year of uh, uh, for the Jubilee that we're in so the only thing was is that there was a door there that you could walk through that we did end up walking through, but there was no like official sign or like explanation of like when you walk through this, this is what it means. And I think if there was more, um, like I know if you go through a group or go with a group that there's going to be someone explaining stuff to you, but Adam and I just kind of went on our own. So that's the only thing that I think would have been nice. Uh, so I guess it would have helped with getting more meaning, uh, not that we didn't get meaning out of it, we got meaning out of it, but uh, it would have just been nice, I guess. And if there's any final thoughts I have about our day, it was definitely 
worth the drive and I think actually just getting a chance to spend the day with Adam and getting to talk and laugh on our way up, uh, that alone was really, really worth it to me because we live about two and a half, three, <laughs> two and a half, three hours away from, uh, from Midland because we live in Kitchener. Mid yeah, Midland's on Georgian Bay. Um, so, <laughs> um, any final words about the day? I think that it was great and uh, worthwhile. Uh, it was kind of cold out today, but other than that, you know, I had a great day so far and there's still more to come. So like once we go home, like we're just gonna settle in with a movie and then I have to be up for work at like 8.30 in the morning or at work at 8.30, so I'll be up earlier, but. This is my end of the, the vlog. I know I haven't YouTubed in a while, but I really wanted to have something meaningful to YouTube about as well. So uh, this was, I guess, that. Any last words that you'd like to say about the day, Adam? It was a wonderful experience, very enriching. Yeah? I should have walked through the door of Mercy about six or seven times. <laughs> Why? Well, you get an indulgence every time you go through. Not every time you go through. But that's what it says. So the more I get, the more mercy I get. No, that's not how it works. Freeway entrance on the Never right side, three kilometers. It was a wonderful Very day. Highway 400 it was an excellent south. place to go see. I would highly recommend it. You get, you can go for lunch, walk around. It's also like a park. You can enjoy all of the. The art was fabulous. You can enjoy the art, the statues, the architecture. Um, say, go for and listen to mass. You can pray if you want to. You can even have lunch. There's guided tours, museum. It's rich with Canadian history about Catholic mission, French Catholic missions. If you're a real history buff, you'd really enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? There, that's one thing that um, one we Can didn't. One of Canada's excellent historical sites. That's one thing we didn't do, though, was we didn't really do any filming in the church. But I didn't want to. Happy Canada Day. Oh yeah, it's Canada Day. <laughs> um, I know. <laughs> Um, that's one thing that we didn't do though, we didn't film in the church, but I didn't want to be disrespectful in any way and be taking pictures or anything. More elaborate than a lot of Catholic churches. No, but it did say that the inside of the, um, the church was like built to look, resemble the inside of a canoe. I did read that. So. Anyways, this is the end of our vlog, so I'm going to say goodbye, and I am going to try and post videos a little bit more often, I hope, <laughs> but anything that I do film, I end up um, like turning it into videos and then get to put on there anyway, and I will hopefully see you all later. Okay, bye.